That is a 2017 Infiniti Q60 3.0 turbo. And that's what's in the garage today. We just got in this Infiniti two-door coupe with a 3.0 turbo. And you know what? I got to drive it back from Houston and that thing's kind of bad. Now, first of all, just look at it because just straight up the looks alone on this stock vehicle, it all just kind of flows and I love that. Coming straight from the factory looking this clean, could you imagine if you actually put a few bucks into it and made it a little better? Now, I've never had the honor of driving a Q60. In fact, when we first got it, I had to go onto Affinity's website and try to understand the differences between all the Qs because there's a Q50 to Q60 to Q70, Q80, Q90, and then there's the QXs, and they are all QX50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and that's really confusing, Infinity. So So then you jump in this bad boy and you start looking at the white interior, how the chrome accents and the brushed looking aluminum is in here. And then I'm, I'm telling you right out the box, one of the best parts about this when I was riding with the windows down, sunroof open on the interstate and I had the sound up and this Bose performance series system in this car, it jams or it sounds like an aftermarket system you would have to pay thousands of dollars for and it comes stock so then you have digital gauges and stuff like that but in the dead center there's a screen and that gives you all the information you need like your radio station your mileage your uh, miles per gallon and how many how much range you have left on your t gas tank and just all the fun stuff you need to see right away in the center but then in the center console you have the actual navigation screen and full screen and then below that, there's a touch screen. So it's like having two seven inch screens sitting on top of each other. Wow, electronics have come a long way. You control everything from sport mode to radio to navigation, all from a dial with a couple of buttons on either side to go back and forward and enter and stuff like that. It's really basic and it's becoming a standard in cars nowadays. And I honestly didn't like it to begin with, but I'm kind of starting to love it. On either side of your in dash computer it has all of your temperature controls and ac and climate controls and everything you need is on either side of that for the passenger there's the right hand side and has all his controls for even heated seats and then on the driver's side you have all yours very simple there's not a whole lot of wasted space or extra buttons or funky buttons everything is very modern very clean and for buying a stock car if you want to press and you want to impress the ladies or the gentleman or your business partner or whatever this car gets it done with the sporty attitude and absolutely every gadget you need so on top of all of that it has the sunroof it's got the sports package so you can go fast fast I'm not gonna say the sound of the exhaust is all that amazing but it doesn't sound bad and for an infinity it you know it sounds pretty good it sounds kind of like a little bit of a race car but it's not American made, I can tell you that much. So for the driver modes, you absolutely have personal, then you have sport, standard, eco, and snow. Granted, we're in Louisiana. I'm not sure how much we're gonna have to deal with the snow one, but we did get to do it in the Raptor, and that was a bonus. So what else can I tell you about this Infinity? Well, you know what? I would drive it every day of the week. This would be an immaculate car for somebody that's just trying to step it up and when you're trying to get out of like a honda or those styles of cars hyundai and you know just mid-range nice cars and you're trying to step it up a little bit you have other options other than bmw and mercedes and stuff like that if you start looking into lexus or infinity like this one i think i want an infinity for about 30 something thousand dollars to have a car like this it's pretty killer it just looks cooler than a lot of the cars I've ever driven or seen. 
I don't know how this one snuck by me and how I never knew about it. I love this car. So tell me what you think in the comment section below of this Affinity Q60. We're gonna bring you a lot more cars in the future. Make sure you comment if there's a car you want us to take a look at and tell you what we think. You know, hey, that's not such a bad deal either. So if you're looking for something like this, Bayou Garage is sponsored by Motor City. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button, stick with us, because we're gonna be checking out so many other cars. We're trying to get every make and model out there on this channel after a while. So it's gonna be from $5,000 cars all the way to as expensive as we can find. We're gonna have a ball with it. We hope you enjoy it. Let us know any suggestions in the comment section below because we're always learning and trying to get better. We have some interviews, some events coming up, and so much more, and even some challenges. The challenges are gonna be fun. But we have to get to 1,000 subscribers for the challenge. And by the way, we're at like 390. When we hit 400, we're gonna make an announcement about October because something huge is coming in October. But you gotta stick around to find out what it is. So tell them about your garage boys and girls. Until next time, what's in your garage?